Oh, this is pretty cool. Yeah. Do you still get excited? <laughs> um, <laughs> I get more excited when it's full of fans. He's taking the Premier League. When you picture an international soccer superstar, who do you see? And here's Beckham. Who's on Beckham side. lighting it up for England. David Beckham rescues England. Or Ronaldo's flashy bicycle kicks. There's Messi. In into the back of the net. Messi. Neymar. All with their slick hair, sleeve tattoos, and near nude cologne ads. Yep, all the trappings of a global soccer icon. Soccer is the number one sport in the world. When we look at the LeBron Jameses of the world and the Tiger Woods of the world and say they are superstars, which they are, but times that by a thousand because that is what Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo are around the world. Look at Neymar in Brazil. Look at Messi in Argentina, Ronaldo in Europe. But in a world of one name hunks with their barely their boxers, you might not picture this guy. A sweet all American dude from Hershey, Pennsylvania. There's not many big name soccer players out of Hershey, Pennsylvania. Probably not. <laughs> A lot, no. Yeah. <laughs> the sweetest place on earth, as they like to call it. <laughs> yes, at just 21 years old, Christian Pulisic is taking over the sports world. His vicious crossover and clutch kicks. On the left, forwards, and he scores! What a moment for Christian Pulisic! Have made him the hottest young name in men's soccer, and a big part of why Chelsea, you know that massively successful team across the pond, paid a record $73 million for Christian and made him the most expensive American soccer player of all time, valuing him right up there with soccer legends like Ronaldo. Teammates even dubbing him Captain America. Captain America, lovely assist. Now, before we keep going, let's clear something up. We call this sport soccer. But here in the UK, they call it football. Do you say soccer or football? Yeah, now here I kind of have to say football yeah. if I don't want to get made fun of, but <laughs> it'll always be soccer to me, I guess, because football is, you know, American football. Soccer, or football, is one of the most played sports in the United States, but it only really dominates our sports world, like basketball, baseball, and football routinely do. when the World Cup rolls around once every four years. And while the U.S. women have dominated the international stage and made generational stars out of their players like Mia Hamm and Megan Rapino, American men have never seemed to rise to the level of soccer superstardom. Now it's interesting, I mean, soccer's so huge in the States, right? Uh, but we don't have a ton of these international superstars. Why do you think that is? A lot of our best athletes, you know, generally are in you know other sports but i think there it, it is to say you know things are changing i know there's already you know players playing in germany and now playing here i think we're going to see a lot more in the in the next couple of years uh hopefully you know doing similar things to this and, and playing in the premier league and uh i think uh, i think it's definitely a good time for american soccer which makes christian truly unique in sports oftentimes we remember the first christian polisic he is the first polisic going to chelsea for over 70 million dollars that is a watershed moment for the American soccer player. There's all these fans looking down, and do you ever feel extra pressure being the American out there? I don't really think of it like mm. that, to be honest. I don't see myself as American out <laughs> on the field. I just see myself as part of the team. But, uh, you know, people, they always try to put that extra pressure, you know, yeah. being the American. But like I said, I try not to think about it. Yeah. That's good. No pressure. Yeah. I'm no, not adding extra no pressure. pressure don't, you. I'm just reminding you of your roots. <laughs> now, he may just be the hottest thing here at Chelsea Football Club Arena. Mm -hmm. Back home in Hershey, Pennsylvania. This is the first time that he got the 10. He's still the hometown kid to mom and dad. I don't think it'll ever get to his head. He understands how things can go. It's probably harder for him, you know, getting it out in big crowds than people realize because he is really more of a shy, um, soft-spoken kind of guy. Kelly and Mark Pulisic were star soccer players themselves. Both of us played soccer collegiately, um, and then I played professionally. At two years old, my <laughs> husband and I both saw a very strong athletic ability. Both of us, and in being into sport and being into teaching, we knew that he had a gift. What were some of the big life lessons your parents taught you? Anything that sticks with you today? The number one thing I would say is just kind of putting confidence in me, uh, just telling me to always believe in myself no matter who I'm playing against, no matter where I come from. Christian took that confidence, and at just 15, he moved to Germany determined to become a pro. 
Yeah, it was terrifying, to be honest. Uh, it was kind of a big sacrifice, you know? I, I didn't know what was going to happen. I didn't speak any German. I just had huge dreams, and I thought, why not, why not go for it? But pursuing that dream 4,000 miles away from the place he called home came with its challenges. We decided as parents that the best thing to do is to you know, separate and let our daughter stay home and you know, finish school where she needed to and then let Christian go and start in um, Dortmund, Germany. We were up for the challenge because we wanted everybody to be happy. It was difficult for Christian. I was overseas with him and he missed his mom and his sister so much more than they would ever know. But he stayed very focused on accomplishing what he wanted to do and that was become a first team player um, uh, in Dortmund. The big gamble paid off. Just 16 when he signed with German powerhouse Borussia Dortmund. A year later, the Wonder Kid started making his mark, scoring goal after goal. Pulisic! Oh, yes! Oh, it wasn't long before the biggest soccer league in the world came knocking. What a moment for Christian. This is where I've wanted to be my whole life playing professionally for a massive club, playing for Chelsea. It's the biggest honor in the world, and uh, yeah. yeah, I've been loving it so far. With all your training and having to leave the U.S. for Europe, did you ever feel like you missed out on anything growing up? Definitely, but there were also some things I got to come home and, and see my friends. What would you make it home for? I made it home for my senior prom. The next morning early, flew back to Kansas City <laughs> to play for the national team, and I scored my first international goal. For America's first great soccer star, he's only just getting started. So what about the little kid playing kinder kick back in the States? If they asked you, you know, how do I do what you're doing, what would you tell them? I would tell them to just to give it everything and, and you know, if you really want something, just to, to dream big, because that, that's what I did. For Nightline, I'm Maggie Ruley in London. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.